Pokemon. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video and find out what happens after I purchase those Pokemon games. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Philly Picker YouTube channel. My name's Joe. Today's Saturday morning and I'm going to be heading over to Jersey for some yard sales. I'm going to run in here, grab my coffee. I'm going to head over to Jersey. So stay tuned and let's see what we find. Look who I just found. Oh, there he is. Right there. How are you doing? Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? How much on your jeans? I just picked up four Nintendo DS Pokemon games. I paid a dollar each for them. So I'm at another sale here, and I actually ran into a uh, guy that asked me what I found today. I let him know about the Pokemon uh, DS uh, games that I picked up. He's actually interested in buying the Pokemon Platinum version. So I'm gonna see what kind of price we can work out and uh, see if we can get it sold before I get home. Actually, uh, purchased a Pokemon game from me. That's right. 60 there bucks. You go, man. Okay. Thanks, man. Hey, I Take care. It. Thank you. Take care. All right, everybody. So I just wanted to hop in here and explain uh, that last clip that you just saw. That was Aaron in the clip. Uh, I went to a yard sale around the corner from him, and that's where I ended up picking up some Pokemon games. When I went to Aaron's sale, we ended up having a conversation, and he was asking me of some of the things that I picked up in the neighborhood. I was telling him about some of the Pokemon games that I picked up for Nintendo DS. Um, turns out that he was actually interested in the uh, 
Nintendo DS Pokemon Platinum version game. So after he found out that I did have it, he actually ran upstairs and um, grabbed his DS. He wanted to test it out to make sure it works. We agreed on a price of $60. I ended up selling him the game while I was still out yard selling. So that was pretty cool. Let me know down in the comments if anything like that has ever happened to you where you were actually able to sell something that you picked up at a yard sale to somebody else while you were still yard selling. I thought it was pretty cool. I was glad I got it on film. Aaron, thank you again for the purchase. I really appreciate it. So let's go over everything that I did pick up. So here goes everything that I picked up yesterday. I ended up spending somewhere around $175. There are a few items that I picked up for personal use. I ended up picking up a tape gun, uh, a bunch of Sharpie markers that I'll just use, and a few rolls of tape. Um, but anyway, these are things that I picked up to resell. Like I said, $175. Overall, this was a great sale. I'm glad I went over there. I want to give a shout out to Aqua Girl and uh, Philly Flipper for giving me a heads up on the sale. We'll start off with this. Uh, this is a bigger item. I don't usually pick up things this big, but uh, this was a brand new uh, sealed um, ceiling fan. Um, it was never installed. It was new in the package. Um, I ended up bundling that up at the same sale with the Pokemon games. So I think I, I paid $10 actually for the ceiling fan. Um, this is a TaylorMade burner, super fast driver. Um, I know TaylorMade are good. I didn't do any comps on this uh, when I picked it up, but the guy only wanted $5 for it. So I figured it'd be worth picking up. It is a left-handed driver. So I don't know if that has more value or not. Let me know down below if uh, left-handed clubs are a little bit more valuable than right-handed clubs. So let's go over a few more things. We'll go up here. This was actually a radar detector. Um, guy wanted a dollar for it. It does work. I did plug it in um, and test it. I don't even know if they're worth anything or if people still use them anymore. This is a uh, an old uh, keg tap. It's a Bronco pump for a beer keg. I picked this up for a dollar also. These are three pair of women's Miss Me jeans I picked up. They were $2 a piece. Um, I did hear the name before, Miss Me. Um, I don't know if they're that popular anymore, but I figure for $2, I take a chance on it. This is a box of six uh, replacement mops. Um, I paid $5 for the entire box. I think one of these go for $10. So I'll make my money back on them and it's easy to list. It's just a quantity listing. Um, these next two items I picked up at the same sale. These are two Bose radios. I paid $130 for both of them. Um, they both do work. I tested them at the uh, yard sale before I left. Um, so they do come with the remotes and all the wires. This is a multi-disc uh, CD player. And this is an older Bose. Um, I think it maybe get around $125 for this one and somewhere around $200 for this one. I know Bose radios do sell very well. So I think these will sell pretty quick. And then the last items I want to go over, this was uh, the Nintendo DS games that I picked up. These few Nintendo DS games, like this uh, Pac-Man and there's an m, &M game and some kind of racing game. Um, I'll probably end up keeping these to test some DS when I do pick them up. I don't have any games to test uh, uh, a Nintendo DS console if I do pick it up. So for a dollar, um, I picked up a few games to test. So these are the three Pokemon games that I have left. Like I said, like you saw earlier, I sold the Platinum version. This is Pokemon Black, this is Pokemon Diamond, and this is uh, Soul Silver. Um, so overall, I was excited to find these. I don't think I ever found a Pokemon game ever, and to find four at one sale was awesome. That's everything that I picked up. This was an awesome sale. I want to say thank you again to Aaron for purchasing the Pokemon game from me. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. I want to say thank you to everybody that stopped in and checked out another video. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on this video, and I'll see everybody on the next one.